good morning to everyone welcome to social science class in this class we are going to see about the history topic so i request you please have a textbook and to continue with me chapter number 4 we are going to see name of the chapter is what books and burial tells us so in this topic we are going to see about 1 2 3 4 5 5 points we are going to see in a detailed way first one of the oldest book in the world second how historians study the rigveda next cattle horses and the charas silent sentinels the story of megalith and a special burials at ina gaon so i request you please open your textbook go to the chapter number 4 what books and burials tells us one of the oldest book in the world that's the veda you may have heard about the veda there are four of them rigveda samveda yajurveda and atharva veda the oldest veda is the rigveda composed about 3500 years ago so dear cadets please have attention in this topic we are going to see about the oldest book one of the oldest book which is called as veda and which was composed year 3500 right and the oldest one is rigveda and vedas are four right then rigveda includes more than a thousand of finds called sukta and sukta is also called as well said right these finds are the praise of various gods and goddesses so what are finds finds are the we can see speaks about the prayer or the praise of the various god and goddess right we are offering number of prayers to god so we are speaking om bhur bhuvasva tat savitur varenyam bhargo devasya dimahi dio yo na prachodayam like that the mantras the shlokas we are chanting in praising to the god and goddess that is going to be called as hymns or suktas or well said three gods are especially important agni the god of fire indra the warrior god and the soma the plant from which is a special drink was prepared right next after seeing this these hymns were composed by the sages that means rishis priests taught students to recite and memorize in syllabi word and sentence bit by bit with a great care most of the hymns were composed taught and learned by men a few were composed by women the rigveda is an old or a vedic sanskrit which is different from the sanskrit you learn in school these days in nowadays whatever the sanskrit you are reading that sanskrit was totally different that was in vedic sanskrit the book we use are written and printed and the rigveda was recited and heard rather than read it was written down several century after it was first composed and printed less than 200 years so here at the last we are going to have a discussion on one question how the rigvedas are different from today's modern book that which we are reading so in this paragraph the answer is there please have a tick mark in your textbook next how historians study the rigveda historian like arthur rajas find out about the past but in addition to the material remains they examine written source as well let us see how the study of rigveda some of the hymns in the rigveda are in the form of dialogue this is a part of one such hymn a dialogue between the sage named vishwamitra and the two river bees and satyaj what were the worship as goddess right so these two were bees and satyaj were worshiped as goddess and the same story vishwamitra this story is given in a yellowish box in your textbook you have to read that okay next cattle horses and the chariots there are many prayers in the rigveda for cattle children especially sons and the horses horses for yoke two chariots that were used in battle work which were fought to capture cattle battles were also fought for the land which 
was important for pasture that means for grazing of the animals and for growing the hardy crops that ripen quickly such as barley some battles were fought for the water and to capture the people so here we are speaking about the cattle horses and chariots and we are seeing where the cattle were used and for what purpose next some of the wealth that was obtained was kept by the leaders some was given to the priests and the rest was distributed among the people some wealth was used to perform the yajnas or sacrifice which we called as offering were made into the fire that means nowadays we are calling the yajnas or yajnas these were made for the god and goddess offering could include ghee grain in some cases animal most men took part in these wars there was no regular army but there were assembly for people met and discuss matter of war and peace so here we are seeing how the peoples were doing prayer how the peoples were offering and which thing they are offering how the animals were also used in sacrifice we are seeing next they also choose leader who were often brave and skillful warrior what to describe people there are several ways to describe people in terms of the work they do and the language they speak the place they belong to their family and their communities and culture practice now let us see some of the words used to describe the people found in rigveda so here now we are entering in the phase where this type of communities or societies were different from each other or they are having the division right on the basis of their family on the basis of the land where they used to live next there are two groups who are described in terms of their work the priest sometimes called as brahmins who perform various rituals and the raja right brahmin and raja these rajas were not like ones you will learning about later they did not have capital cities palaces or army or not they collect the taxes but they were called as rajas generally sons did not automatically succeed father as raja at that era the word the two words were used to describe the people or the community as a whole one was the jana which we still use in hindi and other languages the other was vaish the word vaish comes from the vaish you will learn more about in the chapter number 5 in the upcoming chapter we are going to have more discussion on this topic several vaish or jana are mentioned by the name so we find refer to the puro jana and vaish and the bharta jana or a vaish or yadu jana or vish and so on sometimes the people who compose the hymns describe themselves as arya and call their opponents as dasas and dasin right that means servant or slaves these were popularly did not perform sacrifice and probably spoke different language later the das the feminist dasi come to me see that means das and dasi that means servant slaves slaves were women and men who were often captured in the war they were treated as a property of their owner you could make them do whatever work they wanted while the rigveda was being composed in the northwest of the subcontinent there were other developments else let us look some of these so what were the new changes and development after this week we got at the same time we are going to see in the upcoming slides next look at the illustration on the next page where this topic is there the illustration is there and these stone powders are known as the megalith literally a very big stone these were carefully arranged by the people and were used to mark the burial site when the peoples are dead after dying then they used to bury them and after that they used to make the megaliths by keeping the stone as a mark the person is buried here the practice of treating megaliths begin about begins 
about 3000 years ago and was prevalent throughout the Deccan, southern India in the north east and Kashmir. Some important megalith sites are shown on the map number 2 and that is given on page number 13. Please observe that and get acknowledged to yourself. While some megaliths can be seen on the surface, other megaliths for it are often underground. Sometimes archaeologists find a circle of stone, boulders or a single large stone standing on the ground. These are only the indication that there are dwellers there. That means if they are keeping a stone over there, so they can easily identify the person of so and so family has been buried. All these burials have some common feature. Generally, the Delmar burial with the distinct paws which are called as black or a red veins. Also found are tools and weapons of iron and sometimes the skeleton of horses and horse equipment and ornaments of stone and wood. After the person's death, they used to, whatever the person was belonging, horse, ornaments, they used to, everything they used to buy their own. Finding out about the social difference. So here in this point we are going to see about the social difference. The social difference means to be the rich and the poor. By this reading we can understand the society, their society, their community was also belonging the rich peoples and the poor. The archaeologists think that the object found with the skeleton probably belonged to the dead person. Sometimes more objects found in one grave than another, right? Find the Brahma Giri on the map number 2 that is given in the page number 13. Here one skeleton was buried with the 33 gold beads and 2 stone beads, 4 copper bangles and 1 cross cell and other skeletons have only a few. So by this you can understand the person may be rich or belonging to a high post these points suggest that there was some difference in the status among the people who were buried. Some were rich, others were poor, some were chief and others were followers. Were some burial spots meant for certain family? Sometimes megaliths contain more than one skeleton. It means the member of the same family all were buried at one place. The bodies of these who died later were brought into the grave through the port holes. Stone circles or the boulders placed on the surface probably serve as a sign point to find out the burial site so the people could return to same place whenever they wanted to visit that particular area. A special burial at Inamga. Now we are going to see about the Inamga. That's uh, again I am requesting you page number 13, mark number 2. Please see the Megaliths in Amga. It is a site on a very good, a tributary of Bhima. It was occupied between the 3600 and 2700 years ago. Hence, Adel was generally buried in the ground, laid out straight with the head towards the north. When the archaeologists are finding the particular skeleton, then they are understanding how what is the leg position was there. These all photographs are placed in your textbook. Please observe. Sometimes burials were within the houses, vessel that the properly contained wood and water were placed with the dead bodies. One man was found buried in a large hole like clay jar in the courtyard of the five room house, one of the largest house at the site. In the center of the settlement, these house had a green greeneries. The body was placed in a cross leg position. In a cross leg position, the body was placed. Occupation at Inangam. What the peoples of Inangam was chewing. So archaeologists have found that the seeds of wheat, barley, rice, pulses, millet, peas, and sesame, bones of number of animals, many bearing cuts mark that shows that they may have been used for food have also been found. So the people of Inamga, what they used to eat? One question we are going to have. For that the answer is this. So they used to eat these many cereal crops and this food grains. These include cattle, buffalo, goat, sheep, dog, horse, ass, pig and some were spotted here. Black buck and chino here and 
mongoose beside birds to cordite turtle crab and fish there are evidence that the food such as bean amla jamun dates and the variety of berries were collected there remains are present there so that's a symbol that these peoples were eating these many things next moving toward the question answer here the important part of our chapter right this is match the following in the match the following so what is sukta well said what is jerich used in battle yagnas means sacrifice dasa means slave megalith means stone wall let's see the question first this is the answer so this is the question this is the question in this way you have to write the answer okay match the following sukta where you are joining this at well said right then charat used in battles then yadna sacrifice and dasas slave and megalith the upper stone wall moving toward the next question second complete the sentences slaves were used for megaliths are found in stone circles are found on the surface were used pot holes were used for and people at inamgam age so let's check out the answers so this is the answer please copy down the answer please fill up the blanks with this answer next question number 3 in what ways the books we read today different from the rigveda so as i stated you in that paragraph the answer is there from there only i copied and pasted here for your reference the books we read today are printed and written and the rigvedas were recited and heard rather than read for many years and generation and generation the process continued and it was written down several century after it was first known this two sentence you should not read only for the reference and explanation purpose i had pasted here next fourth what kind of evidence for the burials that is talking about the social difference which we discussed just now so sometimes the archaeologists find a circle stone boulders or a single large stone standing on a ground or these are only indication for the burial page number 41 finding out about the social difference there is a more answer is given for this one but i stating you no need to write this question in your notebook only for reference purpose i am speaking the answer to you in what ways do you think the life of raja was different from the dasa or dasi so in this way the raja was having the highest post and the rajas were king and of the communities and dasas were belonging to the lower position and next dasas were slaves who were used for work and they were treated as a property and they were captured in the war please see the answer next this chapter is over here i request you please do the question answers and take a photograph and send me on the whatsapp i'm so happy that number of the students are watching the videos they are doing the homework taking the photograph and sending back i'm responding to them i am very happy please keep it up and thanking to each and everyone in upcoming presentation we are going to see about how our paper will be be there for apple examination and what's the syllabus is there already has stated you from the whatsapp so please study well because this is the 80 marks examination you have to perform very well and all of you have to attend the examination please stick to the timetable and be ready for your half exam till then be safe and secure and jai hind